This is the JJO Morning Show Podcast with Johnny and D. Listen, rate, subscribe. Three women and three teens suspected in shooting more than 100 deer. Now, this is this ought to be good. Fond of like 36-year-old woman and three 16-year-old boys suspected in the shooting or killing of more than 100 deer in a 200-square-mile in eastern Wisconsin. Poaching occurred between spring 2023 and last July, this last July, across Fond du Lac, Dodge, Washington counties. Spotlight being used to find deer in the field. To deal, the deer were then shot. The heads of some bucks with large antlers were severed. Suspects also drove around with the intent of striking deer on roadways. Selfies were taken with one deer that was struck and placed in a vehicle. They drove around to various locations with the deer still alive and suffering in the trunk. Wow. And continued to produce video clips documenting their travels with the wounded deer. I believe that was in Tommy Boy, but they thought the deer was dead in the back seat, and then it popped, yeah. popped back up in chaos. Yeah. Wow. What's a 36-year-old woman doing hanging out with three 16-year-olds? <laughs> Now let's, let's get to the root of the problem. Let's talk about that yeah, for a let's, second. Let's get that one out of the way first. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's let's hold that trial separately, <laughs> shall we? And we'll worry about the deer. Uh, th- 36-year-old woman and oh, three 16-year-old no. boys. The suspects are from Campbellsport. That's where I was just uh, at. Oh, you were just camping there. That's hilarious. The investigators... Look, thank God you got out of there. They would have heard rustling and <laughs> shot all the goddamn horses. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh, no. Seriously. <sighs> Seriously. Investigators also believe geese, raccoons, possums, turtles, and other animals were harassed. Jesus Christ. What is that? I want to take a look at these people. What? What is that? Yeah, I do. I, I I don't need to see them. I know what it looks like. I know what they look like. Yeah, yeah. I already know. It's like something out of Deliverance. I know what it looks like. Squeal now. This is Miles of Mossy Oak. Miles of Mossy Oak. That's a great band name. Miles of Mossy Oak. Yep. Pretty good. Her poondang smells like beef jerky, I guarantee you. Like, what have you been slipping Carol the stink finger again, boy? <laughs> Mama, Mama, wear a special mossy oak with a with a with a hole in the back. The you know, crotchless with a, mossy oak. With a, with a crotchless <laughs> mossy oak with a hole in the bottom. Cut out special special <laughs> hole. Cut out, Mama, special coat. Get there, get your mossy little finger in there. And make Mama proud. <laughs> Dragging a club foot behind. Nah. <laughs> yep. I'm That's sorry. I, sorry, I read that story. Yeah. Driving around and then. Uh, <sighs> is that how they caught them? Because of the YouTube or some of their videos? The or selfies and the stuff. The selfies and all. That? I hope so. You dummy. Can you imagine that? You big dummies. The worst is turtles. Well, the next step is to hu- hunt humans. And then we're going to start hunting the oh, neighbors. Oh, you're, and you're yeah. hurra- like, It's one thing to kill an animal and then honor it and eat it and everything and whatever. Uh, and that's part of what the meat recall really bothers me when that stuff happens. Or when people buy meat and then don't eat it and throw it away. That it's just... Ugh. But anyway, uh, it's a whole other thing to harass the goddamn animal. That's a well, yeah. I mean, know. but think I, I'm just thinking about you know, even 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 the guys that hunt or women that hunt get you know buck fever and just start shooting at shadows and things yeah. in the when they hear something. Yeah. Imagine these three assholes just <laughs> just but, shoot first, kill first, ask questions later. The turtles thing, so the other day, well, this was about a month ago, whatever. When do turtles start crossing a bunch? That's when this happened. So a friend of mine uh, was leaving to run a a quick errand, and there was a turtle crossing the road, but she couldn't get out and help it or make sure it got across fine. And when she came back, somebody hit the goddamn turtle, but it was in a spot where the person would have had to swerve. Sure. 
to hit the freaking turtle. Right. And she started crying right away, and then that made me cry. We were crying over the stupid dead turtle. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> I know. It's okay. But it just makes me right? so mad. Like, what's wrong with you yeah. that you would swerve to hit the little yeah, turtle right. just trying to get across the street? Right, right. Hell. Well, they got these three. Uh, they did uh, They did catch these three. That's so weird. They were just where you were camping. That is I know. so bizarre. Yeah. Uh, conducted out. And, and then look at the waste of... Uh, of investigative time yeah. and, and manpower on this conducted hundreds of hours of combined hours of investigation. I think I just said that three times. Uh, the alleged crimes, 200 square. Uh, okay. Most of the activity occurred after dark, continued well into the early morning hours. Suspects drove around with spotlights shining the fields. Uh, they would shoot from the car. Uh, if they believed the deer was shot, they would enter the field to identify the sex of the deer. Most of the deer they found dead would be left to rot. However, the heads of some bucks removed and uh, other deer wounded by gunshots but not killed. Uh, investigators said or determined the suspects would also drive around with the intent of striking deer. One is that deer surviving struck, severely wounded, picked the deer up, placed it in a trunk while recording video and taking selfies. Drove around with the deer still alive and suffering. One of the videos showed the suspects holding the deer still alive but clearly suffering while walking around the inside of their home. The deer eventually died while in their captivity hours after being struck. Well, hey, you take the guns away. I mean, that's it. That's lifetime ban. Why is this even – why does anybody even get a lawyer in these cases? And they're not even, you know, not even using the meat would make it right. That's a red flag for – Psychotic behavior. And what else are these people doing? Uh, correct. Right. They got any dogs? How are they treating them dogs yep. and cats and right. stuff? Right. You know what I mean? They, you know, you don't get to have any animals. You never get to have a pet. Was this a family? Are these just inbred? Just a bunch of just she's just North she's just woods. nurturing and grooming. Serial killers? What? What is she doing? People, relax. What a complete waste. We are killing it online. Have you guys checked the comments? Of cyberspace. <laughs> Smoke that skin wagon says, you guys are killing it. The JJO Morning Show Podcast. We're internet sensations. Johnny and D, nowhere but JJO. Okay, a uh, Florida man accused of trying to steal a generator that was powering a stoplight that was damaged because of Hurricane oh, Milton. All righty then. Yeah, PC2. I have the moment Duder was detained by police. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, how's it going? Good. Uh, Hello? Uh, yeah. yeah, can you step out for us? I'd rather not. I'm fixing dinner right now. What's, oh, yeah. what's going on? I'd rather not. Okay, what's, what's going on? What? You're just being detained real quick, buddy, okay? Yeah, Some people might have witnessed you doing some things that we shouldn't have done, okay? There's a generator on 674. Uh-huh. That I saw that was that had no lock on it and it was it had no name on it, so I was I thought I someone set it out. Uh, Florida, what? Uh, what? but that's America's way. What are you doing? What? Are you, what? what? <laughs> he's, trying to, he's trying to dumb his way out of it. What? I'm, I'm having dinner. Like, oh, just, well, we'll come back next week. I didn't know you were having mac and cheese. I just saw, uh, I was just sitting there. <clears throat> well, well, I was sitting at the table. We were having bread. And now, now what? I have to go with what? No. Now, <laughs> now I'm in jail. Uh, he was charged with grand theft of the third degree during a state of emergency, which is probably not going to go very well for him. Wow, there's a couple stories about a couple dicks for you. Huh? Wow, just Jesus very Christ. dickish behavior. It's the full moon. I'm telling you, it's the hunter's moon. Oh, man. dude, the hunter's moon got everybody being crazy. Yeah, so uh, what are you saying? In a state of emergency, the penalty quadruples? Mm-hmm. What happens? I don't know if it quadruples, soups quadruples. I don't know. I would I mm. would assume they're... They're not going to give them any. How's your super? Anyway. How's your super quadruple? You get that checked? <laughs> get that tightened up a little bit. You know, there's a surgery for that. You want to take a look? I oh, just ate. Thanks. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Everybody else is taking a look. I guess I should. <laughs> Anyways, wow. Hey, speaking of elk hunt, 
Where's that at? Did we find that? Somebody wanted to hear uh, elk. I'm looking. Okay. I, I think that was an old commercial, what? I think. Or was it? No. Uh, uh, it was just last year. I wrote a commercial. Was it a bit or was it no, just No, it was a... uh, like a bit. You were going to take, you were supposed to be the, uh, the guide on, uh, and, and your name was, call, call the one guide you can trust, elk cunt. <laughs> So because who doesn't want to, you know, shoot an elk when you're out there hunting? Okay. Everybody does, right? It's expensive. That's right. We'll find it. Did we do it live? Uh, no, I think. Oh, maybe. Okay. I'll have to find. A, it's probably in a different folder then. Might have been purged from the system. I think uh, the FCC just automatically. They're com- like, you know what? Confiscates. <laughs> Yeah. It was a half the time. I can't believe we've made it this far. Um, all right. Well, I'm looking. Oh, I got it. It'd be funny if a DNR agent showed up at the studio and said, and we have a warrant for Elk Hunt. <laughs> Take her. It's her. It's her. Take her. Uh, I have it. Do you okay, want me to yeah, play yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Give it a shot. I, have, I can't even I don't remember, remember it either. Give it a shot. <laughs> Here we go. She is without question the most seasoned and experienced elk hunting guide in North America. And if shooting big game trophy elk is a lifelong dream, ask for this respected hunting guide by name, Elk Hunt. That's exactly what she gives till it hurts. Elk Hunt. Have you hiked miles and miles without ever seeing trophy elk and ready to give up the hunt? Well, that's not happening with Elk Hunt. You want elk stew tonight? She'll drag your tired candy ass up that mountain pass. Elk cunt. Martha Stewart? No. Call elk cunt. Taylor Swift? Please. Less posing and more elk cunt. Lily from AT&T? Hang up the phone and call elk cunt. When it comes time to kill shit, you can wait for the Marines or you can finish the job. Elk cunt. Oh, Kyle, you brought Lily into it, the Marines. What they do to deserve that? Oh my God. <laughs> that is so. I think there's a reason that didn't get aired. Uh, I'm just saying. But before 7 a.m., you get away, you get away with get away with murder out here. Oh my God! I forgot how funny that was. Oh, that's a weird one. Thank you, Texter, for reminding yeah, me of I, that. That would have that uh, that deserves to, that again. Oof. Not getting us into the Hall of Fame in Milwaukee. No, I, that's not, just. Farther and farther they had from a shot. the Hall of Fame. They, they had a shot until uh, <laughs> till the board of directors heard Elk Cunt, and then it was, uh, yeah, they withdrew. They withdrew there. Uh, well, hey, man, tis the season. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's because I was going to go beyond the Hispanic radio station, yes. and that was my name. <laughs> Yes, that's exactly what it was. Didn't we? I think that came up at uh, Randy's Veterans Radio Thon. That's what it was. Oh. Uh, yeah, when you said they called me Elk Cunt. Uh, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> that was my Spanish radio station DJ name, Elk Cunt. Because uh, she's, yeah. hun- she's a hunter. Uh, Goodness gracious. Whew, thank you. At least somebody remembers what the hell's going on around here. Yeah. You notice how it just it took 10 minutes to piece together <laughs> 40, 40 seconds of audio. What? All right, let me get this straight, man. <laughs> we thought uploading to the cloud oh. was something completely different. The JJO Morning Show Podcast. Johnny and D. JJO. Now streaming just in time for Halloween. I got a popcorn ball. I got a fetch ball. I got a pack of gum. I got a recall notice from Walmart. It's the Great Meat Recall, Charlie Brown. Oh, brother. Tainted meat scarier than the Great Pumpkin. <laughs> Even Snoopy won't eat this stuff. Good grief. Check your refrigerator in the USDA for showtimes. Bro. Uh, gross, dead. Uh, no joke, though, bro, because uh, the recall just got bigger. Oh, get out of here. Um, now the Listeria recall grows to 12 million pounds of meat and poultry. Some of it's been sent to the U.S. schools. I get Listeria when you're near. Yeah, we need to just make that. Oh, yeah, just play it. Um, let me find it. It's under death. 
Look up death. Here I have. It's right there, like my listeria. I think I have. Okay. All right, here we go. Who's that? Out of touch. Out of reach. Yeah. You could try. Closer to me. <laughs> I got a rash. 12 million pounds of bad beef now. I'm chicken. I'm hypnotized. Shaking to my knee. You want to taste my beef? I got to know what you got. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> You're alone tonight. Can't stop this feeling. But we won't be grilling. I got listeria <laughs> in my beef. Can you feel it? Do you believe it? I got listeria. I got bad beef. What do you want to meet? I get <laughs> listeria. Oh, my God. Songwriting and singing is so hard. You're so good at it. No, it's hard. It makes and, me nervous. And I, I, I'm afraid people make fun of my singing. No, I they so, would never. I get so nervous. They would never. Okay, good. People are just jealous good. of your mad skills. Okay, I trust you. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, if you mean it, I trust and you. And I mean. You want to be my manager? I would love to. <laughs> And God. are you going to listen to me? So, so I, I literally had, and, I had nothing to be nervous about. This is great. I would just Because like, my wife tells me I can't sing and I have to stop or she's going to leave me. Yeah. So this is great news. Thank you. Don't, Jason, I hear you over there smirking. <laughs> Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Um, I just want to say congratulations on a parody song that is not put to the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me write that down. That's a great song idea. 12 million pounds. Right to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, yeah, the updated recall includes prepared salads, burritos, Ew. and other foods sold at stores including Costco, Trader Joe's, Target, Walmart, Ew. and the Kroger. The meat used in those process and then the products were processed at a Durant, Oklahoma manufacturing plant operated by Bruce Pack. Um, so uh, sounds like a mom and pop shop. It <laughs> doesn't sound like it's cranking out thousands of carcasses in a in a minute at all, right? <laughs> So there is a 342-page list of hundreds of potentially affected foods. I took a look at it. Yeah. It's the they they set it up to be pretty easy to search and they have like the actual product label on it. Mm-hmm. So it's really easy to see if that's what you have um in I, your fridge. I, I, if you think it might be it, right. just toss just it. Just toss it. I wouldn't even play with it. Ten people have already died from the boar's right. head listeria mm-hmm. thing. You do not want to be dealing with it. I mean, is it a quick weight loss plan? Sure. Uh, but other than that, <laughs> is death going to potentially happen? Yes. So don't do it. Um, it's yeah, don't, Who ugh. wants to be killed by a salad? Raise your hand. Not me. No. Thank right? God. Death by salad? Come on. Death by salad. About 1,600 people are infected with listeria bacteria each year in the U.S., and about 260 die. No kidding. Yeah. Those are big numbers. Uh-huh. Those are not rookie numbers. Uh, listeria infections typically cause fever, muscle aches, and tiredness, and may cause stiff neck, confusion, loss of balance, and convulsions. Symptoms occur quickly or up to 10 weeks after eating contaminated food. Yeah. That's what makes it so hard to locate when this happens um, because it can be such a long yeah. period yeah. of time. So um, this is really bad for old people or if you're preggers. So there you have So it. this would be anything from like Target to Trader Joe's to 7-Eleven. I mean, this is this is everybody. It's, it's big. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, it'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. In a pinch. Um, the foods produced were produced between May 31st and October 8th. 
Okay. So, I mean, that's a lot. Yeah, it's a long list. It's, it is. Yeah. Um, these ready-to-eat meals, man. Yeah. That's what, And that's where you run the highest about, risk. I know they're convenient, but that's where the big risk is at. I suppose this is a different stupid thing, but not, not pet foods aren't affected or anything. No. No, no, because that comes from China. What am I thinking? I'm such an idiot. China. China. <laughs> China. Uh, so there you have it. The the bad uh, meat list grows. That is, it's becoming, it feels common these days, the listeria yeah. thing. I feel like if we went through four of these this year, really, we're, I'm going to boil my salad. Is that is that a thing? Yeah, well, this is the meat part. But I, well, I, like to be, I like you, to be safe. You should, even if your vegetables and fruit things say that it is washed and ready to eat, yeah. pretend like it's not. For sure. Yeah. I would take everything out of your freezer and just, I would not even, when are we in the all clear here? Are they saying? Are, uh, are we good now? Are they? What do you mean? I mean, well. Will you, they shut down the plant? Yeah, I mean, so have, the, have like they already I said, done it, that? It's up until October 8th is okay. the last manufactured date so far that okay. we have. All right, so look for the dates. But the list keeps growing. Yep. So, I don't know. I just checked. I would check the USDA list if you have a prepackaged, like it's prepackaged, like burritos, right? Like fettuccine Alfredo. It's got if it's right. got chicken in it, prepackaged chicken in it. Just Bruce Pack. I mean, I don't know. It's it's bad juju. Bruce Pack. It can, it's never. It's never. You know, Uncle. Uncle uh, Grandpa Jones's old chicken treats. Now it's just Bruce Pack, okay. the, the meat overlord. I want you to guess how many people in the U.S. Right. Um, die from food poisoning oh, every wow. year. Uh, sickest game show ever, literally. Oh, hold on. Let me hold on. Uh, I don't win Listeria, do I? No. Right. Uh, wow. And right, I'm going to team up with my slaughtered chicken uh, with uh, Jason, my. A listeria consultant. Yeah. Uh, how many? What's the question? <laughs> I forgot what the question was. How many people um, uh, die from oh, okay. foodborne illnesses in the U.S. You, each year? What do you think, Jace? This is without recalls. This is probably just, just overall. Yeah, yeah. How many people in the U.S. <laughs> die of food poisoning every year? What are you yelling? You're scaring Jason. Stop. <laughs> I'm a little scared of it. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think the number uh, is, dude? What do you think? Got to be over 500. Oh wow! Um, really? Yeah, maybe. There's a lot of people in this country. Uh, there are a lot of. People. We're gonna say 701 and a half. Ooh. 711 and a half. I know that half's a little scary. <laughs> well, they made it. I mean, they lost a, a leg. A leg or something. But they made it. What do you think? Try 3,000 people. Oh, holy. holy. Wow. CDC <laughs> estimates that 48 million people get sick from foodborne illnesses each year, and 128,000 wow. are hospitalized. Wow. Yeah. We were a little off. <laughs> yeah, Man. dude. So, so uh, what is it when I go to, uh, say I go to a fast food joint and I get food poisoning? What What is the difference? What is that? Is that a bacteria? It's just a separate bacteria? It's the, Right. It's a, It's a bacteria. Okay. But it's not listeria bacteria. It could be or E. coli or Uh, whatever. I get bacteria when I eat a French fry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. E. coli, salmonella, E. coli, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay, so it's all in the family. So, um, and it's, uh, our food poisoning has gone up. The rate of food poisoning has gone up as the providers of food has gone down. Right. Does that make sense? Sure. hundred percent. Yeah. Less oversight. You got that right. And coming from the same plant. Yep. You're going to get more of it all at once. Yep. Yeah. You're looking at Walmart, Target, Trader Joe's, the Costco's, all of it, everything, everybody. Right. Everybody. I, I would just throw it away. We have currently no meat in our house right now. We're going to go meat-free here for a couple of weeks. Well, I mean, you don't have to get crazy. You can go down to Ken's Market and get locally sourced meat, and it'll be just fine. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. this is when it's important. You go to, go to Straka's. Go to go to where find a local butcher shop. This is what why. about the guy in the Menards parking lot? No. What? Now you tell. No, me. that's where you get your butt injection lifts. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, when they run up, they just run into Menards and get yeah. more yeah. cock or silicone. Step, in, <laughs> step into my sleeper cab. I'm only in town for a few hours and laying over. I'd like to make your ass large. Weird. Yeah. But then uh, cooking properly and yeah, good, good, all good points there. Totally. All good points. So um, this is worth knowing about. It sucks. This is where ignorance is bliss until you're crap in your pants, I suppose. But yeah, it's a lot of information. That, that needs I needs to be on the wall of the Capitol, right there. That is, that is, that is words to live by. Dumbing down your smartphone, one podcast at a time. Listen, rate, and subscribe to the JJO Morning Show podcast. Get up with Johnny and D. J-J-O. A word we hate on this show would be influencer. Influenza. Uh, naughty influencer has been handed over 20 grand in Oasis reunion gigs by pervy fans, but she's got to shoot sex tapes and portable toilets at the show. <laughs> uh, Pomona Morley, Pomona Raggy Morley, 24, Oof. has made over a million dollars shooting sex videos. And the lose of festivals around the world. Oh, it's her thing. It's her kink. Yeah. Man, that's kind of cool. So she goes into the bathrooms, Porta Johns, whatever, like Coachella um, and whatnot. Um, so that led fans to shelling out a bunch of money for Oasis tickets uh, for these reunion gigs, like at Wembley and whatnot. Um, and they want her to go into the porta potties and shoot her porns during certain songs. That's their request. So they buy her the tickets to the show and then pay her the money mm-hmm. to make the naughty video during certain songs. Right. So that's, uh, there we go. We talked about that yesterday. This is part of your subscription mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, program. Pretty cool. So I bet that's not cheap. She's single. Her- oh, you're saying I got a chance. <laughs> yeah. Meet me in the porta potty after the show. <laughs> uh, the bio on her subscription pages online say she's a festival girl and Oasis fan. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And a whore. Mm-hmm. She said, I'm too young to remember Oasis when they were big, but I've always listened to them and I'm a bit of a rock chick. So this is great. So is she doing solo stuff or is she with a dude? Solo stuff. Uh, okay. My fans give me a huge amount of cash to travel the world and shoot these. I rarely do them with other people, but I have. They are mainly naughty, harmless solo tapes in the lose. Yeah. My parents know all about it, and they're okay with it. <laughs> she must have no sense of smell if she's, uh, you know, she f- blasting away in a porta pot. How do I put this eloquently? Is she finishing? Oh, that's the question. Right. Or is she just like playing with it a little bit right. and then leaving? And leave she it. gets in and out of there. What's the time frame on something like that? You know, spreading the hunt. As mm-hmm. it were. Oh, good. Um, so she does have a management agency. She said, um, the it's Rebel Agency. Man, they you say get a, she's one of their highest earning clients. You might get a free show. You go to the Camp Randall Oasis show. There she is, freaking spread eagle up in a porta potty. Yeah, dude. That's pretty cool. So um, the tickets that they purchased her so far have add up to over twenty grand for o- just for Oasis. That's unbelievable. One yeah. night, one night's work. She's like, "Hey, dude, I can film one video and use it for more than one fan, so it's gonna be great." Dude, yeah. she's working smarter, not harder. She ain't gonna rub that thing raw. <sighs> well, good for her. I can't oh, think of one place that's less sexually arousing than a good old stinky porta potty. You got it on a porta potty before? Yeah. <clears throat> what? Well, I was in the handicapper, but Yeah, that's a big one. It's a different. It's nice. Different thing. It's a different time. Uh she went on to say I always wanted to work in mental health and psychology, but this pays much more. <laughs> good for her. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Good for her. All right. She's probably going to start a whole new uh, STD strain that we've never even thought about. Well, I... but she's alone. She's just she's having. She's just doing some, you know, ABCs. Just some easy, easy, uh, soft core stuff in there. Sure, why not? Just I would slapping the flaps. If dude. I had anything to offer, I'd go in there and do weird, kinky, weird stuff for twenty grand. Yeah, I'd do anything you want me to. Right. Whatever, dude. Showing off the ham wall and ain't no big deal. Nope. Brilliant. Good for her. Brilliant. All right. 
a restaurant in Massachusetts was forced to close temporarily after threats were made against its workers. The messages came days after the staff served World War II reenactors who were in the restaurant wearing Nazi uniforms. It's like a living museum. And here we have the Nazis. This is so dumb. (laughs) This is so dumb. Here's our pies. Here's our salad bar. Here's the dessert bar. Here's our Nazis. A group of historians from the American Heritage Museum went to the Kith and Kin in Hudson to have dinner on Saturday night. The restaurant said four were dressed as American soldiers, one as a military nurse, and two were dressed as SS soldiers. (laughs) Read the room, dude. Read the room. (laughs) So you can't even, I mean, there's mostly it's against the law, isn't it, to even show up with that stuff on? Or am I crazy? Not here. But in other countries, and it is. In, in Germany, it is. Yeah, and in Austria. In Austria, yeah. The home of Anna I'm sure in other Nega, places, yeah. too. Uh, the restaurant oh. owners apologized on their Facebook page on Sunday. <laughs> we, uh, I have a press statement for the press. We are, we are not the Nazi restaurant. We do have a special on pies. We're not the... Not the Nazi restaurant. Jesus Christ. In the hindsight, they should have been asked to change before being yeah. seated. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. (laughs) Even though we knew they were living historians at a time when acts of anti-Semitic violence continue to rise, we should have realized other diners might not be aware of that. (laughs) Right. Yeah, that would be surreal, man. That's the thing. That still would be surreal. I mean, we would never. I I, I don't think I wouldn't get up and leave, you know, if I'm enjoying my meal. But if a couple of Nazis walked in and be like, you guys. Well, no. You guys feel it okay? You guys okay? Being. If you're the the dude that's in the reenactment as the Nazi, yeah. wouldn't you be like, hey, I'm going to take this off before I go out in public? <laughs> yeah, just take the jacket off. Yeah. You know, with the swastika, swastika right? and stuff. Right, because you don't want to be out. In, I right. wouldn't want to be out in public in that. Take the, well, no, you, you might get your ass beat. Right. It's not even worth it. 100%. You know, unless you're one of those weirdos. Uh, we would never intentionally do anything to offend or hurt anyone in the community. If we truly thought these individuals held anti-Semitic beliefs, yeah. which I'm sure they don't. Well, I mean, it's interesting though. We don't boycott movies that have, you know, you know, German shul- well, soldiers. Well, I don't know why we're attacking the employees of the restaurant. Yeah, well, right, that right, seems a little crazy. Right. They had nothing to do with it. I mean, this just seems. You're, you're, I mean, what was it? A, a museum thing? Where were they? Yeah, it was the. Um, it was. American Heritage Museum, a group uh, of historians. You think somebody? Okay, so they're like a Civil War reenactor, but it's World War II. But it's World War II, so they probably own the uniform, right? It's probably what they do, and maybe they've done it twenty times before. But I think there is a difference between in a museum and a historical reenactment or a lesson or whatever you want to call it, or. Uh, a seminar, or whatever you want to call it, a historical, um, and a, then walking into a restaurant with a Nazi uniform on. I I mean, if you walk through Walmart with a full Nazi uniform on, I'm sorry. That's on you, dude. That's on you. I'm not <laughs> blaming like Walmart all, for letting you in. Right, that's on you. And then, of course, uh, you're going to pay, uh, you're going to have to uh, deal with the fallout of that, which is going to be probably a lot of people. Losing their minds. Yeah. Yeah. So after... Read the room, dude. Right. Despite the apology, the restaurant was forced to shut down temporarily because of threats, <laughs> which is crazy. The museum, which is also based in the same town, said it's like, hey, dude, it's not appropriate for these people to be wearing these uniforms outside yeah. of uh, right, right. historical or educa- educational context. So the people were wrong for wearing the uniforms out to the restaurant. Gotcha. So the museum is speaking out, being like, dude, the yeah. restaurant didn't do anything wrong. It's these efforts, which I can't believe if there, how many of them were there? There was at least five of them. Hopefully not a platoon. There's that, that at least would, five would, of that them. Would get the National Guard notified. Nobody was like, hey, you know, what? maybe, uh, maybe you should take the logo off, you know, like, come on now. It'd be even weirder if the guy in the Nazi uniform did a, like a Colonel Clink uh, impression. Because, uh, oh, my Clink sucks. 
Um, I would like some pancakes. <laughs> Can you do Colonel Clink? No, I don't even know who Hogan, you're talking about. Hogan, come to my office. Yeah. I would like some pancakes. Oh, my clink sucks. Um, So, uh, there are strict protocols that the American <sighs> Heritage Museum has regarding what to wear, when to wear it, how to wear yeah, it. Yeah, don't take them out on lunch break. Rule number 17. And the protocol was <laughs> violated. Yeah. He said it's not a hate crime, it's just stupidity. Yeah. Right. 100%. Well, I mean, you know, you shouldn't be so, too comfortable wearing a Nazi uniform in public. I'm sorry. Right. I mean, the, the museum this people is just, just are. the rules we have. The museum people are stepping up and being like, this is. Yeah, the, good. You know. Yeah. This is our people's fault and we're, we're going to tighten up protocols and consequences. So at least they're stepping up. Well, I mean, uh, it's not the restaurant's y- fault for Christ's w- sake. Well, the fallout, A, somebody's going to call the cops. I mean, if you're going to have a Nazi themed dinner, you might want to do it at your own house and then have fun. Well, you're just lucky you didn't get but, your ass kicked. But German uniforms, the Nazi uniforms outside of a context of a, of a museum, I mean, you're rolling the dice, my man. Yeah. You are so lucky you didn't get your ass handed to you. Are you kidding me? It, it, yeah, it's just And wa- then you're like whoa. some nerd. You're like, I'm just part of a history group. Ah! You, you know, guys. like. <laughs> Let's, listen, listen. Uh, what are we going to do tonight? Um, I thought we'd put on Nazi uniforms to go out and fight everybody. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh, so stupid. It's so dumb. Yeah. It's yeah. so d- I don't think there was any malicious intent behind it. Right. But it was beyond stupid. Well, they broke uh, protocol yep. all, uh, everywhere. Yeah. All the way around. I yep. feel bad for the restaurant. I do too. <laughs> Not the Nazi restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Did the Nazis apologize? Because I don't think they've apologized for anything. You're right. Yeah, Damn it. Could we just get one apology? I don't know. For the whole thing. I don't think that's going to happen. Right. You can learn a lot listening to podcasts. Uh, did you know that the hottest chili pepper in the world is so hot it could kill you? Or you can listen to this one. Bears can smell your menstruation. I can smell your menstruation. The JJO Morning Show Podcast. Johnny and D, nowhere but JJO. Part of my tough stance on immigration. Really? Taco Tuesday will be changed to Pizza for Thursday. Hey! I like pizza pepperoni, mozzarella, and anchovy. I like pizza with salami, and some cheese and oregano. I like pizza with tomato. I like pizza. We like pizza. Oh. We like pizza in the morning. We like pizza every day. We like pizza in the evening. We like pizza anyway. I like pizza, pepperoni, mozzarella, and I'm sure we I like pizza. I like pizza. story is incredible. Uh, A 19-year-old man who tried to rob a pizza restaurant, this is in Austin, Texas, was put in his place by the employees. Suspect was identified as 19-year-old Richard Curtis. Show you his mug shot quick. What kind of night you think Richard Curtis had trying to Uh, rob the pizza joint? Half his forehead is missing. That's uh, that's good luck. (laughs) Try that again, asshole. 
Witnesses told investigators around 7 o'clock on October 10th, Curtis walked into Marco's Pizza. He gave a note to an employee that said, don't say snit, empty the drawer. Curtis then showed the employee a gun in his waistband. All right, this is when it gets really, really good. So after Curtis showed the employee the gun in his waistband, the employee promptly tossed his own balls over his shoulder and grabbed Curtis and was able to get him in a chokehold while another employee called police. The manager was able to get a hold of the gun while Curtis was still fighting. According to the affidavit, the manager tried to shoot Curtis, but the gun didn't fire, so he turned the gun around and beat him with the handle of it before (laughs) he grabbed a knife from the kitchen. And then the manager asked Curtis, prison or death? Curtis said prison, and he stopped fighting and waited for police. Prison or death. (laughs) It's like the, it's like the, it's like the, the, the restaurant. It's like the chef coming over to check on your meal. Uh, is everything okay? Prison? Death? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the, the consummate professional. Just always always giving you an option as a, as a restaurant manager. Right, you know, right. Just always check it in. That's hilarious. And yeah, that guy got his ass handed he to him. He did. You could see where he got pistol whipped. Wow. Yeah. That looks like it hurts. Um. So I doubt that this fella is ever going to try to rob another joint again. Wow. Uh, one employee was taken to the hospital for a head wound. Curtis is charged with aggravated robbery. That's incredible. I would hang his eyebrow over the door as a, <laughs> as a warning to other people. <laughs> not <know>. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Not this Marcos. They literally nope, nope. they literally took his uh, eyebrow off. He's missing a chunk of his forehead. It is impressive. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's cool, man. Uh good for them. That's around find out, dog. Well, and the best I mean the gun didn't even work. You yeah. know, so yeah. uh lucky for them. So they he must that employee must have been pretty close to him to be able to get him in a chokehold. Yep, yep, yep. So. Might have been his first robbery. I mean, might have been nervous. Might have had the gun backwards. Who knows? Man, oh, man. But uh, anyways, yeah. Like like Mike Tyson says, everybody's got a plan until they uh, remove half your skull. Then mm-hmm. you're, then you got to compromise, yeah. you know. Prison or death? Prison or death. <laughs> you decide. <laughs> I think you should name a pizza after that, prisoner. Death. I want to see this manager. Like, what badass is managing right. the managing the Marcos Pizza down in Austin? That dude. should be a that should be a manager special, prisoner death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could shape the pepperoni like an eyebrow that they took off of that dude. Yeah, or whatever, or put some prison bars on it. I don't. I don't know. Uh, yeah, he's lucky. He's got a bridge piercing. He's lucky that didn't get ripped out. My God. Anyway, uh, right. I doubt that's that. That's really funny. Prisoner death. I doubt that kid tries again. Wow. Keep it up, dude. Unbelievable. Um, all right. Uh, kind of fitting in. You know, I think people just, uh, do you assume that there's just kids working at the pizza place, you know, or well, beca- scrawny people or something? Who knows? I think what happens is because most restaurants, Stores, whatever they have a rule about, just give the people that yeah, are the trying money. to rob yeah, you, just right. give them the money. They don't have that much back. money, anyways. Yeah. We're not a bank. I mean, take the money. A-hole. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think that he was just assuming that the employee would just empty the drawer and give it to him, but the employee was not having it that day. <laughs> just not having it. Bravo, sir. <laughs> Death or ambulance. No, yes, whatever. I'm going to rearrange your eyebrows. Mm, right. <laughs> he looks like a caveman now, <laughs> like a wax museum caveman now. Half his head's gone. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so um, now obviously Thanksgiving always falls on a Thursday, which is funny. I just saw this TikTok of this woman. She's 28, and she it's, just, it's like this long series she does, but she'll talk about things that she never knew until recently, and one of them was she didn't realize that Thanksgiving was always on a Thursday till like two years ago. I'm like, oh, honey. Anyway, um, so DiGiorno bringing back its Thanksgiving pizza. 
Um, and uh, it's a limited time offer. Blah 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 blah. I'm here to just say you can make your own Thanksgiving pizza. You can do it on your own for sure. Don't be scared. You could even do it with leftovers if you want to have your traditional Thanksgiving meal. Then you just can make a Thanksgiving pizza. There's recipes all over the internet for it. Or you can just use your imagination. Um, but you can even use the the Pillsbury crescent rolls for the crust. Got a lot of roasted turkey going on there. Yeah, do a little gravy for the sizzle. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, cranberry drizzle. I don't think, I don't know if I've ever seen a DiGiorno Thanksgiving pizza. Yeah. I, I, I know I've never tasted one. Um, Angelo's Pizza in McFarland does, a, like the, I think it's called the Gobble Gobble. It's like a Thanksgiving pizza. They do it in November. It's you know, delicious. I, am I crazy or am I seeing less DiGiorno in the freezer? Or maybe. I, I don't know if you are. While you're. With my quick trip. I don't even think I see a DiGiorno there anymore. I don't know. But Probably they, they not carry at the quick like, trip. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you'd get the pothole and forget about it. That's great song, man. Oh, yeah, I'd eat the hell out of that. That sounds good. Oh. Do you give thanks? No, it's horrible. <laughs> I had some roasted turkey on a pizza. Yeah, I think I would rather make my own than get it frozen. I have not. Uh, who owns DiGiorno these days? I uh we I have not had a DiGiorno in years. Really? That is, no. Doesn't that used to be your jam? Yeah, Nestle. To, oh, Nestle owns yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, better than Bruce Pack owning it. Oh, that'd be a bad Bruce Pack having a bad week. <laughs> <laughs> Think you're having a bad week? Try being Bruce Pack. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get a raise this week. You're not Bruce Pack. That's the yeah, there's your meme right there. Um. Uh, didn't get a promotion. You're not Bruce Pack. Um, what was I going to say about DiGiorno? I have not had a. I haven't even thought about DiGiorno. It's just too many things out there to try. I, I kind of like been there, done that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I'm expanding my horizons. Yeah, yeah. We, I don't know, we just rarely do frozen pizza. I mean, it's, I would maybe once every six months, there's one that goes in the oven. It's just not a thing yeah, that happens. I, uh, it's okay for what it is. Uh, it's all right for what it is. I like I, I, thin I, crust. If I'm doing frozen, it's just like an old I, school I, tombstone I, or jack. Yeah, or and I don't. I don't know if the price is one. If I'm going to get spend eight bucks, I'm going to get a pothole. Yeah, or every I'm single doing a lots of matzo. Uh, yeah, every or lots of matzo every single time. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Don't even front. Don't. Fr- well, you're you're now you're talking about Schwanz. The Schwann's going away. I like those Schwann's personal pizzas. We used to have those as a kid. Yeah. I'm just saying quality, taste quality per dollar spent. I'm sorry. There's better pizza than DiGiorno out there. A lot. You don't have to apologize. I'm not here representing DiGiorno. No. I mean, I you know, I've got history with DiGiorno, so I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be a hater, but oh. there's just so many pies out there now. Yeah. Well, at that period of time in your life, that was a... Perfect time for you to be in love with DiGiorno. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Uh, It wasn't bad. Yeah. It wasn't bad. I think pizza's just gotten, and then like a pothole's bigger than DiGiorno. Yeah. It's literally a physically bigger pie. The pizza game has stepped up. Pizza game has stepped up since the old old days. And that's okay. All right, then. The JJO Morning Show Podcast with Johnny and D. Listen, rate, subscribe. Catch a new show every Monday through Friday, 6 till 10 a.m. on 941 JJO or streaming anywhere in the JJO app. Johnny and D, nowhere but JJO.